First Alert Weather with meteorologist John Hickey. Boy, it has been a little cool around here of late, hasn't it? My goodness, yesterday the official high goes down to 65 because we were back there somewhere around midnight. Today, 65 as well, but never really felt like it because of that blustery wind. But if you're not a fan of this like pseudo spring weather that we're having, I do have good news in your extended forecast. And in fact, I want to get you there now. I want to look down the old forecast funnel with an extended temperature trend. 65 today. Mid 70s tomorrow and then it's low 80s for the rest of the week and even warmer still as we go into Father's Day weekend. Step out of the way, give you the view with one of our webcam shots overlooking Burlington across to the Adirondacks. We started with a little sunshine today, but things have kind of gotten a little bit more cloudy, a little destructive sunshine, meaning the sun beats down and then the clouds kind of cook themselves up. The other big story today, we saw the uh, tree down in Plattsburgh. There were also some reports of uh, some power outages in Vermont today as well, thanks to the winds. These are sustained winds now anywhere between about mm, 10 and 15 miles per hour. We've seen gusts through the day, 35 or 40. The deal is that it's still going to be a little breezy tomorrow, but certainly nothing like it was today. In fact, I want to pop you up to tomorrow with our future cast wind. Notice we're still what I like to call in the neighborhood, you know, like in baseball, a shortstop, second baseman turning the uh, double play, and they're close enough that the umpire calls them out. That's the deal with the system that's creating the wind. It's just close enough to keep things on the breezy side for tomorrow but then we're really going to lose the wind as we go into Wednesday and beyond. That's the system that's responsible for the cloudiness, the showers, the kind of drab Sunday and today's windy conditions spinning around over Prince Edward Island, continuing to slowly lift to the northeast, but locally still finding not only the clouds, but a few showers, especially across uh, northern Vermont, northeast kingdom. In fact, places like Jay Peak and Montgomery finding a few showers right around uh, Lake Memphremagog, and that's trying to extend down 91 towards Barton as well. Uh, thinking is that these showers here during the daylight hours will dwindle through the overnight. I want to take you through on future cast. This is tonight. Still a few showers around, but notice overnight a lot of that activity comes to an end. So we'll wake up tomorrow morning. Some sunshine blending with the cloud cover and through the day will be a kind of that mix of sun and clouds. A little less cloudy than today though. And as a result, temperatures will be a little bit warmer. From the 60s today into the 70s tomorrow and then going into Wednesday, thinking still more sunshine around, warmer temperatures that day. Should find some 80s around here and fingers crossed, maybe they'll actually be here to stay. Wore a flannel shirt yesterday, it was so cool. I'd like to not see that again until the fall. We'll see how that goes. It's a great shirt. I love the shirt, but I could do without the cooler temperatures, and I'm sure you could do. 51 degrees, that's your low for tonight. Partly clear, those showers will come to an end, but it's still breezy. Around the region for tomorrow, we'll take you out to the Adirondacks and uh, places like Malone, 275, 76 in Messina. Low 70s, Lake Placid, Tupper Lake, going for 72 in Plattsburgh under the partly sunny sky. For Burlington tomorrow, 74, 70 in Montpelier. Northeast Kingdom will find some low 70s there. Danville, 71, across Route 2 to St. Johnsbury, 73 for you. A little bit warmer. In fact, the warmest place around will be the Connecticut River Valley tomorrow. Northwesterly winds tend to favor you being a little warmer. So winds are at 76, 77 at Lebanon. Only 70 in Randolph, though, and uh, doing a 70 at Waterbury. And across southern Vermont, pretty trip across Route 9 tomorrow with the sun and clouds. Kind of that Simpson sky almost. We'll call it a 76 for you at Wilmington. Now, five day plus two, a lot of icons on here. Of course, tomorrow is flag day, so a great day for Old Glory to be flapping around. 80 degrees, that's your Wednesday, and look at all the sunshine. Look at Father's Day weekend. Yeah, Dad, two thumbs up. And oh, by the way, summer solstice, that's Monday.